Bible teaches that marriage between a husband and wife is a power, powerful force. Solomon said of his own marriage, I am my beloved's and his desire is for me. Put me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm. For love is as strong as death. Many waters cannot quench love, nor will rivers overflow it. If a man were to give all the riches of his house for love, it would be utterly despised. Outside the power of the redeeming grace of Jesus Christ, that brings a person from death to life, from darkness to light, from self to selflessness, from doubt to faith, from uncertainty to assurance. There is nothing more visibly powerful than the genuine love of a man and a woman in Christ Jesus. That power gives order to a household, a community, and a nation. Without it, the whole fabric of society would be chaos. With it, homes, communities, institutions, and nations have a comprehensive unifying factor that is its greatest strength. The Bible teaches that a, mar that a Christian marriage is a picture of Christ and his relationship to the church. John, quoting from the book of Revelation, And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, made ready as a bride, adorned for her husband. And one of the seven angels came and spoke with me, saying, Come here, and I shall show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. Our Heavenly Father, in seeking to describe that intimate heavenly relationship between his, himself and his redeemed people, used the earthly picture of the bride and the bridegroom to give us an idea of our unique position as his beloved. That is all the more reason that we should guard our marital ties. To mar this picture of Christ and his church by unfaithfulness, divorce, and strife within the union would distort the wonderful picture of Christ's abiding and faithful love to his bride, the church. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman, freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that a man should leave his father and mother and should cleave to his wife, and they shall become God's will and ideal for marriage is that a lifetime is in that is a lifetime commitment. Jesus' remarks in the Gospels reaffirmed what mer what God had stated earlier in the course of the human race. Marriage is divinely instituted and sacred, and in the purpose of God and a lifelong union. Knowing by counsel with you both that you understand that marriage is a powerful force of love, a picture of Christ and His church in a permanent relationship, and you are committed to those eternal principles, it is my privilege to ask, who gives this bride to be married? 